Hello everyone and we are back at the Coaching Masters channel. In this video, we're going to talk about the benefits of becoming a digital nomadic coach. My name is Bonnie. For those who don't know me, I am an experienced coach and the community leader here at the Coaching Masters. This channel is all about helping you achieve that complete freedom-based lifestyle by becoming an online coach. So what is reason number one, the first benefit that I'm sure is probably the number one benefit that people become digital nomads in the first place, and that is travel. Digital nomads love to travel. They get that location freedom. They get to work from anywhere in the world, and that is a huge benefit. If you're like me and you love to travel, then this is a huge opportunity opportunity for you and this could really be the job for you. Now I remember when I first started a little bit about my story is I saved up a bunch of money to go traveling for two years. Traveling has always been a huge passion of mine. I did a bunch of study abroad. I did a big backpacking trip across Europe. You know whenever I could travel I did and so I saved up. I worked two jobs. I worked an office job in the day and I worked a serving job at night and saved up just a ton of money enough to basically put on a good chunk for a down deposit on a house and I used it for traveling and said and I traveled the world for a full year before moving to Australia for a year and doing more work and travel there but on my travels I didn't know what I wanted to do yet I was still kind of searching for the right answer because the thing was that I did save a lot of money to be able to travel and that was amazing but you still go through money quickly when you're not working and I still wanted something that was going to provide me with the ability to be able to travel to still explore the world to continue this journey of exploration and just still get to see all of these different places so I knew I needed to come up with something and unless I was staying stuck in a place and just working a little bit and then traveling and working a little bit you know I wasn't sure the right way to do it but on my travels fitness and health have always been a huge passion of mine and that's where I discovered mindset I was doing some work in in um, the UK sorry and I was at a fitness transformation company and they taught me all about mindset so it was fitness nutrition mindset and that just started this huge development in my life that was like this light bulb moment where I was like, oh my gosh, mindset is the key to everything. And that started my coaching journey. From there, I started looking a bunch into mindset and coaching. I got my accreditation and that is when I was able to quit my job in Australia and start my travel adventures again. So I traveled with coaching through Indonesia, Bali. I did some travels in America. I did some more in Europe and now I'm in London in the UK. So it's been just incredible to be able to work from anywhere in the world. You know, I just did some traveling. I just got back from Egypt and I'm doing some more traveling in Cyprus where I'll be doing some of my coaching there. So you can just live this incredible life, this incredible lifestyle and get to see the world. And I don't think there's anything better because it's just amazing to be able to go see these different places, get to live where you want to live, work wherever you want. It is honestly just the biggest freedom and benefit I think to being a digital nomad. So what is the second reason or so the second benefit of becoming a digital nomadic coach and that is that it can be cheaper to live. So depending on where you live <laughs> right now I'm living in London so obviously it's not the more cheap option but depending on where you live you can live for like a thousand dollars a month in places like Southeast Asia, so Chiang Mai, Bali, Mexico, Tulum is a bit more expensive. That one can be around 1500 a month, but that's still not too bad considering. <laughs> so if you want to live on the cheaper end of things and work and save money, you can absolutely do that in these incredible places. Like I haven't actually been to Chiang Mai myself, but I have a friend there who says it's just amazing, incredible. They would hundred percent recommend. I have been to Bali and I loved it. I absolutely loved it and would hundred percent go back. So definitely Definitely, definitely would recommend Bali. We obviously have Cafe Coach there as well. So if you are looking for kind of a community of coaches, Bali is a great place to be. Chiang Mai as well as Tulum, these are all great coaching hubs filled with people. And you can live for those cheaper, cheaper costs, which is amazing. And the thing is too, you get rid of expenses that you might normally have. So you don't have a mortgage payment to pay for, you don't have cars and car insurance and gas and all of these extra expenses because you know, you just kind of travel with where you're at and where you are and, and do these things so you don't have these extra costs anymore so you actually can save quite a bit of money while exploring the world so that is a huge benefit as well to becoming a digital nomadic coach now reason number three 
for one of the benefits is that you get to be with like-minded people. And now this is huge because I don't know about you, but how many of you are maybe trying to figure out a new way of living, but everyone else around you is in the nine to five. So it's so hard to leave, or you're maybe not in the nine to five. Maybe you've kind of stepped out to do your own business and things like this. And everyone's telling you you're crazy. Everyone's telling you you can't do it. Everyone's telling you that you should probably stick with the safer option and stick in that nine to five. Now, these opinions are really not helpful, but it can be really hard to ignore them when we're getting it from everyone surrounding us. So the best thing about becoming in a digital nomad coach and living in these different places, maybe like Chiang Mai, like Bali, is that you're surrounded by an incredible community of people that are doing the exact same thing as you. So on those days where maybe you're having a bit of a tougher time, you have these people that are going, you can do this. You got this. I've done it. So can you. And you're surrounded by these communities that can help you up and you, you know, not everyone there is going to be a coach, but you are surrounded by other coaches. So you can help each other and share skills. But then you also have all of these other digital nomads around you who can help you with different things. Maybe you have someone who's in technology who can help you with your website and design and, you know, payment systems, things like this. So you can all work together to just create things that are going to benefit you and your business. And it just makes such a difference to be surrounded by people who lift you up, who tell you you can do it, who tell you you're on the right path, who, you know, you surround yourself with these people that are doing the same thing and leave those people that just start to drain you and give you negative energy because most likely they're envious that you're living this incredible free life and they're still stuck in the nine to five thinking that that freedom based lifestyle isn't actually possible. But I'm here to tell you that it 100% is. I've seen it and you should try it. If that's something that you want to do, come to these places, come to these hubs, Bali, Chiang Mai, you know, Tulum, Mexico. I mean, they're all over. I'm in London right now and you know, you still meet people that are doing the same thing as you. And it's just incredible to find these communities, people, you can find them all over the world, but definitely in these huge hubs of places that can really just help you and make you feel like you're not alone. Now, the fourth benefit of becoming a digital nomadic coach is that you can design your life on your own terms. And so what I mean by this is you can really choose, well, one, your timetable, depending on what type of job you are. If you're a coach, then obviously that is amazing because you can go, okay, I'm gonna schedule a client here. I'm not gonna schedule a client there. You can work with different time zones. Maybe you really like to have your morning free so you can work with people in time zones later in the evening. Maybe you like to have evening free so you can really schedule it exactly how you want it. Maybe you like to surf. Maybe you like to do other activities. There are tons of ways that you can just create the schedule on this lifestyle that works for you. Becoming a digital nomad doesn't mean that you're not working, but it means that you're creating this beautiful work-life balance that really works for you. Some people are gonna want a bit more work. Some people are gonna want a bit more life, but you still get to do it in these incredible, incredible countries and you are the creator of it. You can build how much work you want to do. That fits your lifestyle and that's a really, really powerful thing. You can also make it so that you do different things with the season. So if you're a big summer baby, you want to stay in summer all the time then you can really hop around so that you're always in summer. You can go from the North Hemisphere to the South Hemisphere back to North, right? You could skip so many winters or just live in places that are permanently hot. That works too. But you have all of these different options. Same with winters. Maybe you love skiing, snowboarding, winter sports, all those things. You can spend some time in Japan and then you can hop down to do some skiing in New Zealand and then you can hop off to Canada. You can really create these lifestyles that really just empower you to be your best self and live the life of your dreams, right? If we all get just this one life, why are we not living it to our best? Why are we not living it to our fullest potential and benefit? Why are we wasting it in these offices that drain us? And I know I worked an office job do you know what? The people were lovely, but the job itself, I'm not cut out for the office guys. It is just draining, absolutely draining. And so just to be able to create a life and design the life that I want and make a morning free if I want a morning free or just, you know, create lunch times and all of these things and just spend time the way I want it is just absolutely incredible. It's huge. I mean, that is the way that life should be. We shouldn't be living to work. That's what it is. We shouldn't be living to work. We should be working to live. And now this is gonna go really, really well with the final reason or final benefit of becoming a digital nomadic coach. And that is fulfillment. Now, this is huge because like I say, being a digital nomad doesn't mean that we're not working, right? We're coaching, we are still putting in those work hours, but it's all about having fulfillment. We are no longer slaving away in that office environment that isn't fulfilling. We are helping people achieve their dreams. We are helping people achieve their goals. We are helping people be healthier, happier, more fulfilled, 
just incredible beings. And happiness is said to be divided into three parts, according to Seligman. This is based off positive psychology. And the first one is a life of pleasure. So again, this comes within your designing life on your own terms. Maybe you like surfing, that is your pleasure. So that's gonna give you happiness and you can create that for yourself. Now, step number two is that you want to have a life of meaning. So creating something that is meaningful for yourself, like coaching. Coaching gives me so much meaning. And the third thing is all about helping others. So we're giving back because if we just keep all of this happiness for ourselves, that's selfish. So why would we not give back? If I have all of these answers inside me for mindset and happiness and, you know, all of these solutions of what I've done to be this happy person and feel fulfilled, why would I not share that, right? I want to pass that on. I want to help empower everyone to be their best selves and be happy. And, you know, I would say my huge motto is happy, healthy people are not off destroying the world or each other. So we want to spread this so that we spread as much positivity as we can. I think we can all admit there's a lot of hatred and anger and everything else in the world. So if we can be that, you know, 1%, 5%, whatever it is that spreads this joy and helps people to be happier and breaks all of these patterns that are old and just not working anymore, then I want to be a part of that. And if I can do that from Bali, then I will take it. I will absolutely take it because there's nothing better than living the life of your dreams while being able to help someone live their life of their dreams. Now, those are just some of the benefits uh, of becoming a digital nomadic coach. So I hope you've enjoyed. There are absolutely more, but we are out of time in this video, guys. So let me know what most excites you about becoming a digital nomadic coach. Let me know in the comments below. Make sure to like this video as per usual, and I cannot wait to see you in the next video soon. Bye.